Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless you all, family, for joining for in Jesus' name. In today's prophetic word title say, Be on alert. You need to visit the police. Hallelujah. Be on alert. You need to visit the police station for this particular uh, thing that is boiling in the realms of the spirit. The reason why this prophetic word is being recorded is for you to be on alert and not to allow your ignorance, Prince Master Jesus, make you pay a price on which you are not supposed to go through. I use this medium opportunity to welcome each and every one with this your first time in the name of Jesus. The Bible says this is a day the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad. My privilege of grace, God bless you. My name is Bazi. The Lord has been helping me to bring us his word on a daily basis. May the good Lord bless you. Become part of this great and lovely family. As you're subscribing, you're liking, you're sharing. May the good Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. So this particular prophetic word is talking about visit the police. Hallelujah. I believe this particular person watching me, this should be the decision that you take. This should be the decision that you take. Hallelujah. Make sure you're subscribing, family. You're liking, you're sharing for in Jesus' name. I was praying the Lord laid this word in me. I saw this just like a short movie. The moment God showed me this, the Holy Spirit took me so many years backward on something that happened to me. Till today, whenever I think of that particular thing, I feel pain. Yes, I feel pain. There was a friend of mine so many years backward. This guy had access to my house access to everything i love this guy so so much and one day somebody came and break my door carries some of my things and i knew that this was the only person that could do such a thing so somebody advised me to go to the police report the case so that the police can do the proper investigation then i said no i will not go to the police because i know that this is the only person that has access to my house this is the only person that can do such a thing so the moment the people tried to advise me, I told them no. I was just like, I know the person. They said, who is the person? I was bold enough to call the name of this guy. This guy told me he's not the one and he will never be the one. I became enemy with this guy. I became enemy with this guy. We could not talk together. Our friendship spoiled because I accused this guy. I was calling the guy thief. Meanwhile, this guy was not the person who break into my door. So I just stayed quiet. That was why how enmity became between me and this guy. One day, the person that stole those one of those my thing went with it. One of the item got spoiled. Then somebody brought it to the technician. Then I saw it to the technician, and I recognized it, and I had the receipt of that particular thing. Then I I hold it now. I went to the police. I reported it that this is what I saw. This is what was missing in me. I, I saw it somewhere. Then I was like, finally the thief will be exposed now. All my mind and focus was on that my own friend. That person I accused months back. I thought that he would be the one. So when the police came, the person that brought the DVD, the, the deck, the deck what I said, said, said he bought it from somebody. So my main focus was not only on the person that brought it to repair it. My main focus was on that. Let the investigation reach to the guy. Then the policeman told me to sit quiet. This is not my duty. It's their duty. They know what to do. They started investigating. They carried on their investigation. At a particular point of time, they told me, this is the guy that break you in your house. I almost, I almost disappeared. I stood there and like... So I've been accusing an innocent person all this while. They say, yes, this is the guy that break your heart. He has confessed. He has explained everything to us. So they were asking him, how did you break the house? What happened? What happened? Somebody I've never expected that he, he could do such a thing. So most of the time in life, the real criminals are people we trust them. And the, the people we trust them are the real criminals. So there is something that has been happening, Prince Master Jesus, to you. There is something that has been happening to you. You are watching me. The reason why God is asking you to visit the police is because you have noticed some strange movement around your house. You have noticed your thing being missing. You have noticed people touching your property. You have noticed people 
walking around your things and at the point of time you don't really know what to do the lord is asking you not to attack an individual because it at your own risk to attack an individual attacking an individual is like you're claiming to do the perfect work meanwhile god knows why he's asking you to go to, to, to the police whenever you review you report the case to the police the law will take the case on their hands and they will handle it in a better way so my prayer for somebody watching and connecting under the sound of my voice is that there is something that God will expose and do not take the law at your hands when it's a, it's a problem that needs security hand it over to the law because I believe there is something that God wants to expose and God don't want to take the law on your hands the Lord wants you to report it to the police and let the police step in what is that particular case what is that particular problem is it the battle you're going on and you feel as if you can fight it to, to, to the end. There are battles, if you want to take the course on your hands at the end, you end up losing. A lot of people had opportunity, but they, but they lose the case. Most of the time, when you have opportunities, make sure you follow the right path. Police people are not our enemy. We as Christians, we respect them also. Hallelujah. They are also called as men of God in a different form. That's why the Roman officer came to Jesus whenever the, the police will have problem also they came to us pastor we also pray for them whenever we have problem we also go to them they are there for us we are also there for them so you having a problem and thinking that prayer alone will solve that problem you will die with some certain problem in ignorance there are some situation that when they come away you must rise up walk to them and talk to them walk to them let them know i pray for somebody watching and connecting that your ignorance will not make you lose what was yours and your ignorance will not put you into trouble for in jesus name amen and amen